Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's everybody doing this afternoon? I am glad and very grateful to be here. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for as these people are loading in here before we get started. Um, but it is, it is a great opportunity to be here with everybody tonight and to be able to speak to all of you. All right, so I'll go ahead and get started. So my name is Julian Brown. I am 21 years old. Let me get this projector out of my face. <laughs> I'm 21 years old and I am founder of Nature Jab. Now Nature Jab is a company that specializes in microwave pyrolysis technology. What is that? I just said a whole bunch of gibberish. Well, that is a technology that allows me to take plastic waste, the thing that's in the ocean, the thing that's polluting everything, and turn it into fuel. Now, you might have seen me online uh, through Instagram, TikTok. I've g gained some viral success doing this, but let's go ahead and get started here on the presentation. So, as I said, microwave pyrolysis reactors turning plastic waste into fuel. See if this thing is working here. <laughs> Let's go to the next slide. There we go. All right, so over the past five years, I have built six machines. And you see, we have my beginning trials, Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4, and my latest machine, Mark 4.5. Next slide, please. Mark 4.5 is my latest model, which has been moved to Alabama. Now, I started all of these in Georgia. I started construction my senior year of high school. Why did I move this to Alabama? Well, all it took was a few house fires, a few explosions, and my mom said, it's time to get out of the backyard. Next slide, please. Yeah, it, it didn't take much convincing for me to be able to <laughs> convince my mom that I shouldn't be doing this in my backyard anymore. Uh, next slide. So, as I said, I've been doing this for many, many years, and I've been posting what I do online, and people have, you know, we, we're so passionate about protecting our oceans and the environments, people have shown. So, on all platforms, um, I've garnered hundreds of thousands of followers, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, etc. And you can find me on any of those platforms under Nature Jab here, as you see. Next slide, please. And the basic story is, in high school, my senior year of high school, I was in a welding program. I'm sure you guys know what CCI is. I went to CCI my senior year, uh, my junior senior year, and I started construction of my machines in CCI, my very first machine. Um, and over the past five years, I've built six machines. I've documented all of my progress online. Next slide, please. All right, so in, in short, pyrolysis, this is uh, some type of chemistry going on here. And it's simply the, uh, the uh, ability to take any material and put it inside a reactor, inside of a vessel without oxygen, and it turns it into fuel. So I put plastic in my machines and it turns the plastic into fuel. Next slide. So in short, I'm not gonna go too deep on the chemistry and how it works, but in short, we'll say it like this. Plastic, we throw it away, but it's a very dense energy source. Uh, looking at this chart here, we can see that at the top, these are hydrocarbon bonds. Now hydrocarbon bonds are basically a representation of how much energy something has in it, because hydrogen is the most energy dense molecule. So the more hydrogen it has, the more energy it has. So, how long these chains are represents how much energy is in something. Look at the top, look at plastic. Plastic has more hydrogen, more energy than even gasoline and diesel. The things that we use in our world. So it only makes sense to, why let this thing pile up in the ocean, pile up in the landfills that is literally energy. Next slide, please. So in short, I put plastic in the machine and I get out fuel oil. As we see, I get out natural gas and I get out carbon. And that carbon is pretty much able to be processed into everyday things like activated carbon, it could turn into the pigments for things like tires, etc. Next slide, please. And I, use, I utilize microwaves because microwaves end up creating more efficient heat, and that's the particular innovation that, it, that I'm doing in my field, utilizing microwaves. Next slide, I believe that's the last slide there. Um, and so that's enough talking about me but I will say, I will add one last thing to that. 
In doing this over year, over four, uh, over five years now, um, I have this year secured a grant from the 776 Foundation in this work. Now, how many of you know what Reddit is? How many of you use Reddit? There we go. Pretty much everybody knows what it is, at least, right? Well, the co-founder of Reddit, Alexis Ohanian, he gave me a $100,000 grant under the 776 Foundation. He's also the husband of Serena Williams. We all know who she is, right? Right? <laughs> so um, he gave me a $100,000 grant to continue my research in this field this year. And so I say that to say, I want everybody to understand my ninth grade year of high school I went here at this school. I was here my ninth grade year in the STEM program, uh, just like many of you here. So the point of why I'm here is not actually to tell you about what I'm doing with the microwave pyrolysis, turning plastic into fuel. It's actually to tell you about what you can do. All right, so I'll just give you a brief rundown. In ninth grade STEM year, right, uh, I was in chemistry class. They put me in honors chemistry for some reason, ninth grade year. <laughs> it was crazy, okay? And I was in uh, Mr. Kruba's class. Um, and does he still go here? He, yeah, no, no, longer. Oh, no longer, okay. Yeah, well, I was in Mr. Krupa's class and we had some type of science uh, fair type of thing we had to do. We had to build a device and, uh, or basically just have some type of trial, do the scientific method. And I built this device right here. Now you guys are looking at this just like everybody was looking at it the day I brought it into the school ninth grade year. Like, what is this thing? What is this contraption? Well, this is my first invention. And the idea of this thing is it's an alarm clock that doesn't use sound to wake you up. It uses really bright light and some, some wind. There's a fan here that blows wind on your face. That's the idea. Now, I'm going to turn this on, but I will give a warning. Anybody that has any type of epileptic, um, you know, if you're sensitive in that way, please look away. Please refrain. It is pretty bright. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on for you guys just to see the basic idea of how it worked. Everybody secured? All right. So that's it. <laughs> you know, it's pretty bright in here, but if your room is dark, nighttime, it, it, it wakes you up. It, it's pretty bright. Um, so I went on to uh, almost fail chemistry <laughs> despite all this. But the point I'm trying to make is I started in the same place all of you are. I started exactly where you are. I started building my first reactor in high school, okay? And especially being a part of the STEM program, all you understand the importance of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, it's amazing. And the applications of this stuff in our world. You see a problem and all of you are more than capable of solving it. Whatever the problem is, I saw plastic, all of us have a different problem to solve. And that's the main thing I want all of you to know. Because I have achieved success and I'm continuing to achieve success doing what I do. But you guys, I want you guys to go even further than even I have, okay? I started in, in, um, in 12th grade. Maybe you guys can start whatever you want to do now. Whether you're in 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. It's never too late, never too early. You start the solution you want to start. Because at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. And that's why this program, the STEM program, was created. To cultivate the seeds of science, technology, engineering, mathematics. These things maybe, you know, they may not be as flashy or as cool as maybe like, you know, rap or, or sports, but if anything, people are interested in this stuff. And, you know, as you saw, I, th I believe on um, TikTok, almost at a million followers. Why? Because people believe in solutions. People want to see change in this world. And I'm telling you all that you will find great success in cultivating and working on science, technology. These are what the things we need in this world more than anything okay because right now we need more solutions to the problems in this world that are growing every day and all of you are just as capable if not well you are all more capable than I've ever been to tap into what you want to tap into the solutions you want to solve in this world and go running with it I have as I said I've had many house fires many house fires a few explosions I just survived an explosion of my machine, the one that kicked me out of my parents' backyard. The explosion was so bad, I got second degree burns on my feet, had to go to the hospital, had to get burn surgery and stuff. I'm still doing it, right? It's perseverance. You keep working at whatever you're doing. You're gonna have shortcomings. You're gonna get up. You're gonna go even harder. You're gonna work even better. And that's a part of the journey, the journey that builds your character, that builds you as a person. And that's why I want everybody to to, to remember, no matter what, perseverance is so important. And, and it's a trait that you can apply to anything in your life, anything.
but especially whatever you decide to work on, whatever you find passion in, whatever your purpose is, just persevere, never give up. I know they say that, everybody says that, it's corny, but it's so true because it, it's almost impossible. It's just like in the fabric of this world and the universe. If you work so hard on something and you just keep working hard at it and you just don't give up, it's almost impossible for nothing to come from it. It's kind of like if you're planting seeds, if I give you a bag of a million seeds, you're throwing a million seeds out, one of those seeds is gonna grow into a plant, at least one. Well, we know thousands would, but come on, at least one would, and that's very much how life is and what we're doing. You're like a tree, right? You're like a tree and right now, Whatever your seed is, and whatever you want to do, whatever your fruit is going to be, right, it's up to you to choose that path, right? Right now, in this position in your life, it's up to you to pick which direction you're going to go down. And whatever that direction is, I, I believe in every single one of you, and I know you will all go on to do great things, right? And whatever your direction is, you, you just persevere, work hard, never give up, and you will succeed. You will succeed. You will find your path. So with that being said, thank you all very much for having me. Thank you, Lithia Spring STEM. I'm very glad to be here. And you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can we all give him one more good round of applause? <laughs> you know, it's so nice to see someone who came straight from Lithia. I mean, even some of us have, some of the seniors here have Mr. Crew with ourselves. So yeah. it's good to see someone who came from Lithia planted that seed right here in the STEM program at Lithia Springs High School and went on to do greater, bigger, and better things.